Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today, Thursday, the 1st of July, and that means that yesterday or from yesterday to today, we had very high time frames closing candles. And this means, of course, the six month candle, the quarterly candle and the monthly candle. So just somewhat like yesterday, let's start from the top to the bottom today and I will start with the three months uh, the quarterly candle of course the quarterly close of yesterday and let's see what's happening in the long term or the long view of bitcoin price action so let's go to the screen share and today we will start here at the quarterly so let me just change that uh, so this is the quarterly chart of course i'm using the log chart here because the distance from the initial candles to the top we are currently experiencing is very very high uh, it's very big the difference so this shows a chart much smoother and less uh, with less volatility in difference of the absolute price so what happened yesterday is for me, it's no one, I guess I've seen a lot of videos already, but not many people are talking about this. And today we have this on the chart. And this is a very important thing. Of course, we have been going down. Of course, there was a big 55% correction. But looking at the technicals, techni purely technicals, this is not a bad candle. So what's happening here is we had a red candle for the last quarter. And of course, that's not good. No one wanted the Bitcoin price to come down from 64 and a half to 30 or to 28.8, which was the low. But we have to consider also a few positive aspects of this candle. This candle is not an engulfing candle. So that means that if this red candle here had the body bigger than the previous candle and, for example, the close of that candle was below the opening of the green candle, this would mean that this candle would be an engulfing candle, which is a very, very bearish signal. So in this case, for the quarter, even the week, the week of this candle did not even went below the opening of the green candle. So. Believe it or not, this is somewhat of a positive sign in the middle of all this chaos we are experiencing now, but it's not like this is going to reverse immediately to the upside, of course, but I'm just saying it could be much worse if this quarterly candle was in fact an engulfing candle. So this is the positive sign that I take from the quarterly chart. And I guess you guys should also, sometimes you should zoom out when the chaos reigns in the lower time frames, zoom out and see what's happening. Because in terms of relevance, it's much more important what's happening on the quarterly chart than what's happening on the daily chart or even the four hour chart. So in this case, not being an engulfing candle this last quarter has something of positive to think about and at least give some hope that we could be much worse if this candle for example closed around here below the body of the previous candle that would mean that the market was very very bearish at least for the quarterly time frame so in this case it's not so bad and i just wanted to show you that uh, by the way the mri uh, the MRI indicator, tone phase indicator, is signaling on the quarterly chart, it indicated the exact tops uh, very, very accurately. So if we also extrapolate that, this one was not exactly on the green candle, the one that went higher, but just a few candles after that, we had an MRI bottom signaling that we would go down. Also on the 2017 top, we have an MRI top, Sorry, this is not an MRI bottom. Sorry for that. This is an MRI top. And we also had an MRI top on the 2017 cycle, exactly on that candle that went higher to the almost 20K level, as you guys know already. So in this case, we also don't have an MRI top indicating anything. 
uh, we are still on a green count, a five count that just started today, still green, not red, and this did not reset the count on the green. So it could mean that we still have four more quarters to go until a top or an MRI top is reached. So that's the quarterly chart. I just wanted to show you guys that. And uh, if you zoom out, of course, and you look at this chart, it looks beautifully good because it's always going up, of course, with some bear markets in the way. We had a bear market here and we had another bear market here. But so far, we have been always going up since the beginning of times. Uh, so guys, the quarterly chart, of course, shows a 55% correction. Almost all the gains of the previous quarter were lost. But don't forget, this is not an engulfing candle. That's very, very good. It could be much worse than we are right now. So let's go to the monthly. And in the monthly, we have uh, still using the log chart, of course. And in the monthly, we have something which I like. Also, this is not exactly the best of structures, but in the middle of all the chaos, if you look here at the structure of the red candles, this structure with this big reversal doji here, and then the big drop, and then starting to find support around these levels and the candle starting to have smaller bodies and bigger wicks, this structure is bullish. Believe it or not, it's usually bullish unless we break the supports and we find support here on the 20 period SMA on the monthly, the monthly chart. So what happens is we could have had here at the monthly the reversal top, local top, which I believe is still a local top. And then we could have this formation here, this structure that tends to be a rounded bottom. So if we continue to accumulate and the support around the 28, 30K continues to support the price and we don't break down to find support on the 20 period monthly SMA, then this could very well be a rounded bottom here with accumulation to the uh, price action reversal to the upside. So also the monthly is not looking good. We have already four, at least so far, because this last candle is not closed, but we had three red candles for the last three months. But don't forget, if we hold this support around 28, 30K, we might be very well going for a rounded bottom here with a lot more accumulation, but possible price reversal, price reversal to the upside. So that's what I see on the monthly after the close of yesterday. I just wanted to show you also this. So um, let's hope that if this breaks and we don't have the rounded bottom, at least we will find support on the 20 period SMA, which will coincide basically with the last all time high, which in fact we are above it already. So we are now around 22,000 and the previous all time high, uh, as you know, in 2017 was around the 19. 1900 so 20k but the 20 period sma is already above that level and we might very well find support if the support around the 28k breaks we could find support around the 20k level so there are two scenarios that are possible here a breakout to the downside or a breakdown sorry and finding support on the 20 period sma which is the monthly or we could start to see a rounded bottom around here with accumulation to price reversal. So those are the two scenarios that you have to take into account when looking at the monthly chart. Uh, so that's it for the monthly chart. The RSI, by the way, is just pointing down a bit, not very steep inclination, but uh, still though still pointing down. The MACD also still still bullish because the blue line is above the orange. But as you guys can see, we are already declining. So if we continue like this and we break, of course, the MACD will really fast go to bearish. And if we sustain the levels and start accumulation and possibly in one or two months, we could see a price reversal to the upside. Probably the MACD will have again some uh, darker green bars and the gaps increasing to the upside. But let's see what happens. 
you should you you guys should always try to zoom out when uh, this is happening we have to understand what's happening in the bigger time frames and not just take care or just uh, you know give relevance to the really low time frames like the one hour four hours or daily when you have this kind of price structure in the higher time frames which are really important to analyze and will in fact be more relevant to what's going to happen in the price action than the daily or the four hour or the hourly so that's it for the monthly and i will just take a look on lower time frames so on the daily we are again going down this one looks a bit bearish because we didn't even cross the 20 period sma we touched it and we went back down again and we are now finding support around the levels of 32 33000 so the daily chart does not look very very good and the count has been resetting all the time so we also don't have a nice count on the mri although we had a few days ago we had an mri bottom which didn't work because we started to climb but immediately reversed when we found the 20 period sma so the daily chart does not look good however however one thing to point out here which could be could be positive is the bullish divergence on the RSI and the price action. So as you guys know, since this point around here, you guys can see, then we went to oversold territory. Since this point, which is the 19th of May, we have been having a rise in the RSI very, very slowly, but it's still rising. So we have this uh, trend line here in white, which shows the RSI has been climbing and the price action has been going down. So this means that we have a bullish divergence on the daily chart. However, the overall price structure is still bearish on the daily chart. So let's go to the four hour. And let's see, let's wait for the MRI to load. Here we are. So here we have again an MRI bottom and the price is was trying to go down here. I was even tempted to sell one of my Bitcoins around here in the uh, just to, you know, be prepared for the case that we break this support and we go lower and and uh, try to rebuy that Bitcoin lower at, at lower prices around the 30K. But in fact, I didn't do anything because I still have some fiat on the side. And I in fact, I can if we break the support around the 30K to 28K, I will be able to buy much more Bitcoin later on at lower prices. So I don't really care about this one that I bought around the 32. Uh, actually, I bought it around the 33,000 level, but this was some time ago already around here. I can't remember, but I was not expecting this to break so much to the downside. I was expecting this candle, if I'm not mistaken, it was this one. Uh, this candle to reverse to the upside, but when it touched the 20 period SMA, but it in fact it broke that support over there and continued to the downside. And I bought the Bitcoin expecting a move up from this candle that way. So I'm not going to sell that Bitcoin, by the way. I'm going to wait. I see now that the support here has been holding the price, and we might still see an MRI bottom on the four hour actually having some impact on the price action and send it to the upside which i know already we have a lot of uh moving averages here in in very close one one to another but it's still possible that this red candle on the four hour could in fact reverse the price action and have some kind of continuation to the upside here so that would make us have a higher low as compared to the 26th of june when we went to those 30,000 level so in fact if we have this this low here and then we have a higher low here and if this one reverses the price action this mri bottom reverses the price action to the upside we could have a third higher low which is also positive so people don't don't be in panic already because there are some positive signals coming from the three month chart the quarterly chart the monthly chart uh, the daily chart has, in fact, that positive sign, which is the bullish divergence with the RSI and the price action. And on the four hour, we might be on the verge of having a third higher low. So not all is bad. I know this is accumulation. This looks like chaos and you should not be trading in this area because this is the 
you know, as I like to call it, the dump zone already. You, you heard this already in many videos in the past, but you have to wait. You have to be really patient here. You have to have nerves of steel because this is not for everyone. We have to wait and see the accumulation result in some kind of move, either this, even if it goes to the downside or to the upside, it doesn't matter. A move is coming. You just have to be patient and take a look at the charts to see some signs of what might happen. So right now the probabilities don't tell me much. I don't really know what's going to happen in that big move. I just know that, for example, the BitMEX funding rate is also negative, and this is good for the bull case. The MACD looks bearish, but the gaps are decreasing, and it shows some sign that we could have a reversal here. So we have to be really, really patient right now. The volume continues to go just sideways. There is no increase in volume, not up, not down. Nothing is really happening, but you have to be patient and wait for the bigger, bigger time frames to show us the way, or you could spot some important signals on the lower time frames. So let's see what happens there. And, uh, and probably soon we will have some more indications of what could happen. So the probabilities continue on the pro indicators uh, framework. We already seen that the trend channel sent the price back down again. However, however, the support context supported the price around here on the 22nd of June and sent it with a fury to the upper side. And also we didn't break still, we didn't break the range, the big range channel in which we have been. And also the trend channel, despite having sent the price back down here when it touched the red zigzag, the green zigzag is now going up. So this is a good, a good signal. Of course, also we had the same here and then we went back down, but it took a longer time to go back down after the green zigzag went up. So in fact, we found support on this trend channel uh, and it's possible that we might revisit the, 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 the bottom of this trend channel, the green zigzag. I will just zoom in for you guys to see it. So here is the top of the trend channel, the red zigzag. Here is the bottom, the green zigzag. And it's possible that we might go lower to see this low part of the trend channel again but we are still inside the range and not broken to the downside. So that's good. The, 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 the pro indicators framework tell me, tells me that in fact, we have been just ranging. This is a mature range on the four hour already. So we should look at the daily and I'm just going to take a really quick look here. So as, as you guys can see, we are still inside the range, the big range of the bull market, and we have not broken this range to the downside. And in fact, even on the daily, we found support on the context, the support context, which is the gray box over there. We did not even break it to the downside before going up. So this is a really good sign also. It means that we could be just accumulating. This could take some time. That's why I'm telling you guys, you have to be patient and not take any fast conclusions about what's happening in the market. Let's see if this is a rounded bottom with accumulation before we reverse to the upside or not. We cannot take any conclusions yet. So as far as I'm concerned, in my personal opinion, the bull market is still ongoing. So that's it. Uh, just a quick look at the dollar. So the dollar now broke this trend line that I had here, and that's not very good for Bitcoin. So finally a negative sign and the dollar, I don't know how this is possible with all the printing, all the inflation that is going with the dollar and the dollar is still getting uh, more valued than all the rest of the coins in the world. Fiat, of course, fiat coins in the world. So. The dollar broke the, the, the trend line that I had here, the negative trend line. So let's see where this goes. But I bet this has been also one of the reasons that Bitcoin has been coming down in, since yesterday and today. Uh, let's take a look at gold. Gold is now showing signs that it does not want to break the trend line here, the white one supporting the price. So we still have this low, I guess it will be the low of the year. And we are still on the go with gold because it didn't break the trend line. 
So gold showing also some signs of not wanting to go down and continuing to find support around this level of 1769. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so let me stop screen share. I really hope that you enjoyed this content today. If you did, gently touch the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you are new, don't forget to hit the bell icon and select all so you get notified every time I upload a video or have a live stream. So as usual, I will leave you guys with the wise words of Sarge Esterhaus. All right, let's roll. Hey, let's be careful out there. That's it, guys. Let's roll and be really careful out there in the markets. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.